Hi and welcome to another episode of the first seven minutes. In this episode we're going to analyze Agnes Varda's Faces Places, nominated for the Oscars and it has a pretty unusual story structure, especially the first seven minutes are amazing but unusual. We're going to discuss that today. You only get one opportunity to hook an audience and it's been said that the most important part of a film is the opening sequence of seven minutes. But how do you as a filmmaker create the opening that sets the right tone and draws in your audience? In this series I want to analyze documentaries and fiction movies together with a guest analyst to find out which story elements create the most captivating film opening. Welcome to the first 7 minutes. Hi guys, my name is Jaap van Kruijs, I'm a Dutch uh, documentary maker and editor and together with me is Alla Deteger, also a documentary maker and editor I could say. We both saw the movie. Yeah, now I, w I was fascinated by it, especially about the positive tone and it had a nice light kind of vibe and it's right. really nice, yeah, now we're going to watch the first seven minutes so we probably go more specific but it had, has nice editing el elements in it and uh, visual elements in it. So. It's already interesting a uh, start of a documentary film with animation. Yes. It's also pretty slow though. It, it, it shows, it's almost like the, the end titles, they put it in the beginning. Do you think this animation sets the right tone for the rest of the movie? Yeah, kind of. Uh, that transition is beautiful, no? It's interesting because it's, it's you already kind of figure out that it's pretty set up, huh? fictionalized in a way. Right. On ne s'est pas rencontré sur une route. On ne s'est pas rencontré à un arrêt de bus. Je vois pas bien. C'est quand le prochain Dans trois minutes. C'est trop long. Je pars à pied. On ne s'est pas rencontré dans une boulangerie. This is pretty Bonjour. fictionalized, huh? Hein? But it's very funny. Quite documentary shot. Dommage. Ouais. Merci. Merci. Au revoir, monsieur. I love this intro. It's really funny. Voilà, madame. Je vous dois combien? 5 euros, s'il vous plaît. On ne s'est pas rencontré. Go dancing. Moi, je n'ai pas oublié les images de tes films. Le visage de Cléo. Murmure à Los Angeles. Toutes ces grandes fresques qui m'ont beaucoup marqué. J'ai adoré voir depuis le train les yeux que tu as collés sur des containers. Tu m'as épaté au Panthéon avec des milliers de visages. Tu as photographié des vieilles à Cuba et des vieux. Et ce couple ridé Posé sur la ville toute craquée. Ce qui est drôle, c'est qu'on ne se soit pas croisé depuis le temps. C'est moi qui ai fait le premier pas. Je suis allé la voir rue Daguerre. Puis c'est elle qui est venue chez moi. Et je lui ai présenté mon équipe. Émile, Guillaume, Étienne et tous les autres. Aussitôt dans son atelier, j'ai voulu faire des portraits de JR. Mais j'ai vite compris qu'il ne voulait pas enlever ses lunettes. <rire> j'ai repensé à Jean-Luc Godard avec ses lunettes noires vissées sur la tête. Un jour pourtant, il les a enlevées pour moi quelques instants. Il y a longtemps, 
J'avais 30 ans. Such a mix of material, hein, like ah. photos. Maintenant, yeah, c'est moi qui ai 30 shot, ans. Animation, Et toi, je dirais plutôt que tu as 88 like... printemps. Oui, ça va. Tu sais mon âge, ça va. Oh. It also really Très works chose, nicely. There are stories ah, ouais, of both of them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mais du moins, tu travailles jamais en duo, toi La première fois, va devant. Quand est-ce qu'on disait ça Eh bien, quand Armstrong a marché sur la Lune. Tu sais le projet. Mm. Ce qui me plaît, c'est que c'est une aventure spontanée. Mais qu'est-ce qu'on va faire On va faire des images ensemble, mais autrement. Partir, t'es partante Ah oui, je suis toujours partante si on va vers des villages, vers des paysages simples, vers des visages. The combination of these characters obviously is, is, is great. It's great. Yeah, 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 yeah. Such a contrast between the two of them. Tu sais, c'est avec ce camion que je pars partout dans le monde. Les gens y entrent à l'arrière, comme dans un photomaton, et la photo sort dans les 5 secondes sur le côté, en grand format. Dès qu'on a pris la route, on a fait escale. And now, after feeling, we kind of first started in a, what the documentary will be like, like an art project we're going to Mais on vous demande peut-être mm -hmm. si vous voulez bien pour la photographie d'enlever vos lunettes. Oui, oui, sans pour problème. On voit vos beaux yeux. Je vous prête ma baguette. D'accord. On aura plusieurs baguettes à disposition. Alors, vous asseyez. Oui. Voilà, bien centré quatre, oui. parfait. Vous tenez la baguette, entraînez de manière à ce qu'elle sorte du cadre, exactement, bien droit. Ah. Attention, voilà, parfait. Oh putain, il a fermé les yeux. Eh ouais, c'est pas grave. Oh, cool. Il reste sur la droite, il tourne à droite là-bas. Eux, ils l'ont pas fait, il y a que moi qui l'ont fait. C'est comme un jeu. Et en fait, j'y répond à ce que je souhaite le plus. Les visages que je rencontre, les photographies, pour qu'ils ne tombent pas aussitôt dans les trous de ma mémoire. What I was surprised by normally a story starts with some kind of conflict or a big or obstacles for your main protagonist or You know, this is normally how you build your story, like, hey, what's going on here? Or it's a bit mysterious. This, this film doesn't start like that at all, or... Yeah, they, they, they start like meeting each other, generations meeting each other, but also history. And, but it's not like a big conflict, but I found it interesting that uh, this, meeting, this meeting together, that uh, they also start in the voiceover about Uh, saying like all the ways they could have met, but didn't meet. Yeah, 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 I mean, yeah. so I, I found that that also quite nice to, yeah, to have a voiceover about all the things that could have happened but didn't happen. You know, it already sets the tone of a more philosophical kind of uh, movie or essay, actually, because it's a kind of a film essay almost. Right, right. It really inspired me almost like as a maker, like, hey, so you can also make films like this, you know, that with a positive tone, you don't always have to, you know, always about the struggle of our, you know, as a human, human being. So that, that I really uh, was struck by that, that that can also work because no, nothing big is going to happen uh, in the rest of the film. Uh, what else do you think that, that, that makes you uh want to see more uh, or what sucks you in what, what i what i like is there's the subjective uh voiceover of the of the characters and the, and it is a it is uh the way actually she's talking uh, about how she lo she looks at the world and uh, uh, at the first thing she uh, she noticed with uh, jr that she's always wearing the sunglasses And that reminds her of, of Godard. She associates from one image of him with the sunglasses going back to the past, going back to another subject. And that's what I really liked because you yeah, kind of go into the head of how she looks at the world and how her brain works. works. And uh, this, this sunglasses of JR becomes 
one thing that comes back in the movie all the time that he yeah she wants to see his eyes, his eyes. Want to look behind the sunglasses and at the end he takes it off for her well maybe that is also a, a, a maybe a little bit of a contrast between uh, the two of them that uh, Agnes Varda tries to be very personal immediately and she wants to know more about him as well she wants to know more about him and he tries to hide it you know so there is a little bit of a sort of a first friction there but it's very very subtle I think that the contrast between these two characters, so the casting of these characters is really great. Him coming from another artist generation, she is a bit older. Uh, 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 also the camera, I think, really loves Agnes Varda. She's very sweet. Uh, I don't know, you feel her warmth or something immediately. And what, what other elements um, makes you curious? Uh, now, what made me curious, but just, I'm always, because we're, we're filmmakers, you always look straight away about how things uh, were shot. And in the, in the start, it kind of felt as a setup because it's kind of fixed shots, total shots, you know. Uh, uh, but in this setup, they created a kind of documentary uh, uh, feel. Then, so, and there's always a bit debate about that, you know, should you set up the camera? If, if the frame is like fixed, you already have like a fictionalized feeling, but what's going on inside the frame is very documentary. And I like the combination of that, you know, the, like the, yeah, the playfulness, the, 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 the way they edit the, the mix of all this kind of material. And then you're in a straight vibe and then suddenly a, a rough cut and then next scene. Yeah, yeah I, 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 I totally, totally agree with you. I think that the way and the playfulness, uh, how they edited it, also kept me like kind of going, hey, this could be surprising. Uh, surprises can come up because it's not the usual kind of cuts. It's not the usual combination. It's all a bit unusual. Now, if we conclude, uh, make a short conclusion, uh, let's uh, go back to uh, and shortly about the elements that makes these, this intro work. I think it's the characters and the contrast between the characters, the contrast between generations. Um, what else, Allard? What would you add? I think the voiceover is uh, is really like it's really text driven, and it's introduced uh, straight away the subjective perspective they have on art and on looking. Toutes ces grandes fresques qui m'ont beaucoup marqué. J'ai adoré voir depuis le train. Les yeux que tu as collés sur des containers. As a viewer, you get to uh, look at the world through two uh, faces, actually. One of Agnes and of uh, the French artist JR, which I think is very strong. Then the third element is the way it was edited, the playfulness. The archive, pictures, animation, uh, handheld shots, documentary style, uh, fixed shots fictionalized kind of style now, and it, it, fit, it, fits yeah, like it fits like one a glove style. almost and, and that's one of Agnes Varda's and of the whole Nouvelle Vague uh, genre is to play with these elements uh, to, to say like hey what is fiction what is non-fiction to sum up I would yeah I would really uh, recommend uh, this movie but yeah yeah it's especially now in, in corona times it's a really nice Positive vibe. Right? Definitely a great film uh, worth watching, especially during these corona times. Uh, Allard, thanks a lot, man. Ciao. Thanks. I hope to see you back for the analysis of another film, fiction or documentary, for the first seven minutes. Um, please subscribe here down below and uh, see you soon. Ciao.